If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some more Abzu. Uh, where we last left off, we went through the ocean and interacted with some, uh, vaquitas and orcas and all sorts of animals, so now we're gonna continue onward. I suspect this level is going to be very orange. And hopefully we're gonna get some info about the past civilization we've been seeing. Art-wise, it's kind of a mix between Egyptian and, uh, it's, it's aquatic theme, so I'm kind of interested. That plus the word Abzu being, uh, from a Yeah, so we're, our, we're interacting with the, uh, with the ancient civilization before that we've been hinting at. Like, look at the eels. And the hammerhead! Oh my god, I love this. Just kind of get that ancient... ancient civilization look, but with aquatics. Maybe we are from... I, I presented this hypothesis earlier. Maybe we are from some sort of Atlantis-type setup. Hey, wake up, buddy. Welcome to the land of the living. Oh, wow, that's cool. Scalloped hammerhead. Woo! <gasps> I love hammerhead sharks. They're not my favorite shark, but they, they're really cool and I really respect them. I think they've got this weird rep for being man-eating, which is weird because they they don't attack humans, typically. Like, you know, they might occasionally, but not not like great whites or anything like that. They don't they don't attack on a regular enough basis for them to be considered dangerous to humans. So it's weird that they have such a rep. <gasps> sea cows! It's a manatee! Oh, so cool! Cutest little noise. Squeakiest noises. Speaking of squeaky noises, my cat's like, ooh, fish, interact with me, human. The music is like sort of regal ish, so I wonder if we're going to. A lot of people who are like, look at these bastards, I hate them to death, and I'm like, I I will say they're not the best fish in the world. If you you can just eat a chunk off of them and they'll still like not give a shit. <laughs> so I don't know. Like if, if I could pick one sea animal to, to, to live as, it's definitely not a sunfish kind of thing. Um But I don't know, I, I like them. I don't I don't I don't get why there's so much weird hate rep for them <laughs> like it's a, it's a it's it's one of those things where it's like not many people hate sunfish but enough people hate them that it's weird which means there's like two people who hate sunfish it's weird <laughs> i love how the manatees have like stuff growing on their backs 
That's cool. I didn't know that's a thing that can happen to manatees, but uh, if that is the if, if they really can't if they really do grow stuff on the back, that's kind of interesting. You think they would try to scrape it off and stuff? Ammonites or Nautiluses. <gasps> I love these guys. Come here. I love these guys so much. What are you guys doing here, huh? See, it's these collectibles. They're Nautilus shells, but. What's up with that? I don't, I don't, I don't even know what the those collectibles are for. I need to figure it out because I plan to review this game, so <laughs> I, I need to know why I'm collecting these <laughs> at some point. But you know, I'm collecting them, and that's what matters at the moment. Ah, it's so blinding. Yeah, it's it's sunset, give or take. <gasps> Seagulls. So they do exist in this uh, this game. them in the first episode, I think. I didn't... I don't know if it's just eagle rays or just a few rays in general, but the, the, these rays seem to have the mouths. Here. Yeah, the mm -mm. Get the mm -mm mouth. Oh, no, there. That's cool. We have these other rays, too. They're... Uh, surprisingly enough, my folks, um, after they did a cruise, not with me, before anyone gets, you know, tell us the story, um, after they did a cruise, they had, like, this personal connection with stingrays, and since then they've been, like, huge, n not nerds, but huge, like, fam fanboys of stingrays. <laughs> like, they love them to death, and I'm like, huh, <laughs> didn't expect that, but, you know, that's fine. I, I like Stingrays too. They got the, they got a bad rap ever since the uh, Steve Irwin incident, but you know that was a that was just an insane you know accident. That that was not that's not the norm <laughs> for Stingrays. So it's a shame they got such a bad rep since then. Ooh, crap. Or lobster. Blue lobster. <gasps> no, come back. We got snails. has this, um, almost, uh, you know, West, 
Western fantasy when done by a well-budgeted anime, like a movie or something? Like, um... Like how, uh, the Tales of Ursi movie does it. You are very blue. Are you still an Eagle Ray? Yeah. Didn't know you guys were so blue. Huh. I did not realize that. I'm bad with colors, though. Are you a Hawkeye? Oh, come back. Ah, Hawkbill. Why did I say Hawkeye? I'm sorry, Hawkbill. <laughs> Hawksbill. Words. I can words. Good. Shark. Follow shark. But yeah, this, um, this has a, um, just a well-budgeted anime western setting kind of feel to it in a good way. Like, I hope you, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> if not, um, it's hard to, it's hard to explain the aesthetic. It's very much a zebra shark. Ooh. Come here, sharkies. Majestic and haunting. That kind of feel. In a good way. Hey, squeakers! Let's follow the chain. I know there's to the left there is where we're supposed to go, but I want to thoroughly explore the location. Given how this is, you know, the most backstory we've been hinted at so far. Here we go. Oh, jeez. chain. <laughs> Thank you, little dude. There we go. Spooky. Look at them clothes. Are they glow worms? No. What what would glow in a cave this far down? Maybe jellyfish? Or just bacteria, I suppose. Ooh, the music kicked up. What are these real quick? Can we see? Just little glowies? Underwater, they could be anything, honestly. <laughs> There's a lot of, a lot of things that glow underwater. time emulating um, how the fish swim and how they migrate and how they bunch up and so on and so forth. They, they spent a lot of time emulating the wildlife and I just absolutely love that. The, the effect is very natural. Ironic considering the, the type of graphics. Oh, that's... They're spilling out Abzu. And I thought those were eels, but no, they're uh, Dunkalosauruses, which is an 
early jawed fish. Yeah, that guy has it has one as the face. Interesting. A lionfish. The camera is kind of wanting to take control a little. But sinister music starting to get a little. <laughs> Notice that was our fourth well. Now I'm worried that um, I've missed some wells before. Actually, was that our fourth? Yeah, I think it was. Army wonders if eventually I'll look up here and there'll be uh, something notable. Like that! Is that a fucking floating con floating con uh floating island? No no no, don't go back down. What we're gonna not acknowledge the floating island? Huh. Is that normal? Is that normal in this in this setup? I thought we were on Earth. It appeared to be Earth until just now. I have questions. Well, I'm not seeing any other fountains, which means I just missed one or something. So let's go ahead and keep moving forward. Jellyfish! And, uh... Oh, hello. Hello there, kind sir. Today. Hi. Okay. So sharks and all that. Civilization that was here before. I said I think that like I said earlier I think that great white is the same one as the previous area like I think it's a reoccurring character for lack of better words there's a collectible still don't know what these do Tension in the music is making me like, okay, so, so what, what, can we die in this game? <laughs> is it, should we follow the great white shark that's already destroyed one of our drones? That'll be fine though. Must go towards the light. Definitely more of a, uh... It 
It's interesting that they showed this ancient civilization stuff because we don't really seem to have a solid setup or a solid setting on where this takes place. Is it sci-fi? Is this magic? I mean, obviously this appears to be Abzu if we're going for what this game is named after. Or maybe Abzu's more of a just an abstract concept in this game. Or maybe it is not in this game at all, and I it's just named Abzu because of water. I don't know. Either way. Poke it. Just grabs onto our face. Whale sharks? Whale sharks. I think. Whale sharks? I got it wrong last time. It was a basking shark last time. Is it whale sharks this time? That's just so cool. But <laughs> that sunfish is like, oh, that exists now. Egyptian human body, kind of like the rest of the statues. I'm leaning towards the latter. Golden Trevally. Got sunfish. Yellow tang. Oh god, I'm blind. It's the coolest shit, man. Barracuda? This one's a little one. Whale shark. Yo. Just adorable. Massive, but still adorable. Look at the mouth. Completely harmless, but fucking massive. So cool.
that E is the dedicated do a flip button. wasn't always underwater. Is that the Abzu we're pouring in? That makes the fish go up? Okay, so we collect... Oh, yep, 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 look, look, look. There's the, the center well that we've been uh, seeing in our visions and when we do the coral spark. More Nautilus, hello. They seem to be the indicator of when we're in, you know, ruins and all that such. Um, I guess the Abzu. So yeah, we got this center of the well we've been seeing and they would collect I'm gonna call it, continue to call it the Abzu, the, the the primordial waters, and then they would pour it into the ocean to make the fish fly up. So we were basically the curators, or the guardians, question mark? Oh, and there's one of the coral spirals. Basically one of the, uh, we're creators, or not creators, uh, Guardians, curators, something of that nature, uh, of the Abzu. And we've, we've been here for a very long time. Oh, like that. Like, it was just something we held control of. Probably meant to protect it, kind of thing. So cool. It's the sci-fi doors. Okay, okay. I see. I think that's us specifically. We don't have the triangle on our chest, but we do have the black ears, which they don't. They have yellow ears. So that might be us on the left there explain the suit everything but the triangle on the chest on the chest um we have in our back yeah we do have a triangle on our back so maybe that's maybe that's our back triangle but um there's the sci-fi doors we got some abzu the life art i guess sci-fi doors, the Abzu on the bottom, us. So what are the sci-fi doors? If the ancient people knew what they were- oh! Oh, I get it, the, the towers are crumbling. The, the destruction of the coral towers. So, we, so there's the sci-fi doors. Did we destroy everything? Are they taking the, the, the Abzu? Is that what's happening here? They're taking the Abzu?
Did we fuck up? <laughs> so, there were ancients who would use the Abzu to replenish the waters. Then, at some point, the sci-fi door showed up. Took the Abzu, question mark, and in doing so destroyed the coral towers. Which is where a lot of the life was springing up from. And we're in there at some point. <gasps> wait, I know you. Wait, 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 come back. Come back. Oh, I know you. Come here. Oh, baby. It's a cool again. Look at you. You're gorgeous. Just in case you go away when I use the thing. So cool with the cola can. Okay, camera. I know we're trying to sweep in, but I'm trying to... There we go. Oh, it's the coral towers. Okay. So, one for rays, one for orcas, one for whale sharks. I guess there'll be one for squids and one for sharks. And then there's an hominite at the top. So I wonder if that'll be the last, an extra one, or if that's just mentioning how there's ghosts of hominites in there. Ammonites? How do you pronounce it? <laughs> So the shark was revered by the ancient by these ancients. Interesting. Or at least favored. sci-fi door broken. So were sci-fi doors part of the ancient civilization or did it come after the fact? They said I think they were trying to portray that the sci-fi doors took away the Abzu, which I guess it's possible. They're definitely a different aesthetic than the ancient stuff. But then again, we control drones, and we appear to be one of the ancients, so maybe... Hmm. Something tells me I'm not gonna get any definitive <laughs> answers in this game. That was really interesting, though. Hmm. Alright, and there's your sneak peek for the next episode. We're gonna call it there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. This game is still so beautiful. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please join us next time. I love you. And bye bye